Zero. The sounding of the bell early this morning delivered similar quality chemicals as the 17th listed firm commencing its trading on the main segment of the Uganda Securities Exchange. We've raised 1.3 trillion Uganda shillings and as a testament of the capital markets, the raising of capital, the 166.5 billion raised by CIPLA in the primary market recently, we raised this to 1.47 trillion. CIPLA, QC, Africa's only antiretroviral drugs manufacturer, says its active trading of shares on the securities exchange forms part of its wider vision in ensuring a broader equity or ownership. And this is the moment that we dreamt of 21 years ago, and it is the moment that we dreamt of when we requested CIPLA of India, one of the world's biggest manufacturer of pharmaceutical products, to join and be the main shareholder in the country. The Trade and Industry Minister Amelia Chambade notes that the enhanced profile of the Uganda Securities Exchange should inspire other local industrialists to seek capital. I commend CIPLA for leading by example on how companies can overcome the challenges for securing investment capital. I wish to call upon other manufacturing entities to emulate the best practices of CIPLA QCI. The Capital Markets Authority, however, cautions that there is need for clinical conduct by owners of CIPLA in context to their new regulatory environment. Investors and shareholders of CIPLA QCIL will provide an environment which promotes fair and efficient trade and protects your interests as investors. The fact that CIPLA QCIL is regulated by the NDA, the National Drug Authority of Uganda, and has received international approvals from multiple bodies such as the World Health Organization and the Global Fund means that you are no, strong, no stranger to the importance of proper systems and regulatory compliance. We look forward to a smooth working relationship with you. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.